Hello everyone, the, this is Suresh here. So now in this video, we are in the section of our contents of media cinema. As you know, we in the previous video, we have discussed about actually the divisions of our media cinema and its topography. Okay, so now it is clear where what is your anterior media cinema, what is your posterior and further there is one more classification in which media cinema is divided into superior and inferior. Further inferior has anterior, middle and uh, posterior media cinema. So we are going to see the contents in, the, in those divisions, what are the organs, nerves, arteries are present in those regions. Okay, so media cinema is just like your popliteal fossa you have studied, cubital fossa you have studied. So they also contains like arteries, they contain, they contain nerves, they contain, sometimes they have lymph nodes and some spatial features also uh, they are having so like that media cinema is also a, a space between our uh, two pleural cavities that is between our lungs it is a space like this present between two lungs okay so we are uh, uh, in a section of first classification that is your anterior and the posterior media cinema and that is classified on the basis of your frontal plane which is drawn through your posterior side of your pulmonary trunk and your trachea Okay, so in this diagram you have seen, uh, so it can be, you just considered uh, trachea is coming from here, this is a lateral view. So uh, trachea and here will be your pulmonary trunk. So on the trachea and the posterior side of your pulmonary trunk and the posterior side of trachea, there is a plane like if, like this, a uh, frontal plane is drawn. And which divides your uh, mediastinum, uh, this side will be your anterior mediastinum and the and posterior to this pen will be your uh, posterior mediastinum. So like this, uh, this mediastinum is divided into two parts. So the organs which are present in these regions, we are going to discuss that in this classification. And next classification is your superior, anterior, middle and inferior mediastinum. Okay, that is clinical class classification that we use in the uh, radiology when we do the x-ray of any patient, chest x-ray of any patient. We have to do the diagnosis. For that, we use that classification. Okay. So, uh, first of all, begin uh, beginning with first classification. So, in the anterior mediastinum, first of all, we will see some organs. So, we have to, for your easier, just remember, first of all, with organs, then comes to the arteries, which arteries are present, okay, blood vessels, then which veins are there, and then which, what nerves are there. And at last, lymph nodes are present in every region. That is clear. So, simply remember, not specific lymph node, just remember the word lymph node. You have to add at last lymph node in every region, okay. So first of all, in organs which are present in anterior mediastinum is actually the main organ. Main organ is your heart, which actually covers the mediastinum. Okay. And next is your and next is your trachea in the in the anterior mediastinum, main organ. As we see now, this these were the organs. Okay. Now the veins come. So now as we see is actually your superior vena cava. Okay. Superior vena cava. Now comes your artery. So artery is actually your ascending aorta ascending aorta so you know that uh, the aorta is actually divided into three parts so like this this will be ascending aorta okay and the arc which it will take will be your arc of aorta and the aorta which will be going descending downward will be your descending aorta okay so this part and this part first and second part will be coming in the anterior mediastinum and this part that is descending aorta or thoracic aorta will be coming in the posterior mediastinum okay so aa is actually your ascending aorta the aorta which is going upward, this part, as you are ascending, and this will take a arc here. So this will be arc of aorta, AOA. Okay. So ascending aorta, uh, arc of aorta, A is your arc of aorta, ascending aorta is this. And now next comes your thymus. Thymus, this is lymph node actually. Thymus is lymphatic organ. And then comes your principal bronchi. Okay. Principal bronchi, that is left and right. Uh, trachea will bifurcate there and divide into left and right uh, primary bronchi and then will be your uh, pn and then your uh, pn 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 is actually your nerve so this is nerve okay so phrenic nerve and then again one more artery is there that is mam uh, mammary arteries uh, the arteries which are supplying blood supply to our mammary glands in female okay or anterior wall of your chest okay so it is called as internal thoracic artery internal thoracic artery will be also present internal thoracic artery this will be clear when you study the uh, videos of our artery i uh, have made all the videos on the arteries so you can see for that like you can see for your aorta i have made a video on aorta and its branches and there are videos for uh, subclavian arteries so it is branch of subclavian internal thoracic so we, there you can see this branch okay and ln is your lymphatic node okay and for your superior vena cava i have also made the video so for that you can also see the venous drainage playlist I will put it on the I button. Okay. Now comes uh, comes your posterior side. So you know that esophagus is present posteriorly. So O will be for your esophagus. Esophagus. Okay. And T is for your uh, thoracic duct. 
दिस इज लिम्फेटिक ऑर्गन ओके सो ओके नाउ दिस इज थोरेसिक डक्ट और यू कैन से दिस इज लिम्फेटिक डक्ट सो अगेन हियर वन लिम्फेटिक ऑर्गन इज इंक्लूडेड सो आई हैिम्फेटिक नोड्स विल बी देयर इन एवरी डिविजन ओके एवरीवेयर सुपीरियर इंटीरियर पोस्टीरियर मिडल मिडियर सिनम एवरीवेयर देर विल बी इन लिम्फ नोड्स सो देर कॉमन जस्ट रिमेबर एल एन एल एन फॉर लिम्फ नोड्स विल बी देयर सो हियर स्पेसिफिक देर इज अ थोरेसिक डक्ट विच इज एक्चुअली लिम्फेटिक ऑर्गन ओके लिम्फेटिक ड्रेनेज फ्रॉम द थोरेक्स रीजन एंड द लोअर एक्सिमिटीज ओके सो फॉर दैट देर विल बी थोरेसिक डक्ट हियर एंड टी इज अगेन टी देर दैट इज योर थोरेसिक ओटा ओके थोरेसिक ओटा विल बी देयर हियर and these were here actually your artery so, and now comes your vein so ivc is your inferior vena cava okay and uh, other comes your uh, these are also your vein accessory uh, that is your azygous vein and your hemiazygous vein and also your accessory hemiazygous vein also accessory azygous vein also okay so these are the veins which are draining from the lower extremities okay that i have also made video on the azygous venous system you can see that it will be more clear where they drain the blood from the lower extremities okay now comes your nerves okay nerves now first one is a splanchic nerves splanchic nerves and this vn is your vagus nerve sn is your sympathetic trunk so these are the uh, uh, these are the parts of your Uh, nervous system okay neurons nerves so this is your sympathetic trunk okay so this was actually your anterior and posterior mediastinum first classification now second classification you know that superior and inferior mediastinum so superior mediastinum first classification first of all in this classification we have discussed in this diagram you can see this much area above this uh, sternal plane which is drawn from the sternum to the lower border of t4 vertebra above this area is a plane uh, a division that is superior mediastinum in this area we will be seeing the organ specifically okay so this is the second and clinical classification now first of all comes your arteries what are the arteries first of all you will see the arc of aorta here so by in this diagram you can relate it like this you just consider this is your heart so here from here your ascending aorta will be coming and here it will be taking the arc okay so first part and this one is the second part and the part will be going downward here just consider here this will be your thoracic aorta or descending aorta so this part is coming this is called as arc of aorta in the superior mediastinum okay so this is arc of aorta okay now next second comes your uh, brachiocephalic artery bca brachiocephalic artery and third one is your left common carotid artery so this all this will be seen just after uh, discussing the theoretical in the diagram okay uh, in the diagram i will be showing everything in the superior mediastinum middle and posterior okay now next comes your left uh, left subclavian artery left common carotid artery left seven uh, subclavian uh, artery will be, you will also see here in the section of arteries now comes your vein so right and left brachiocephalic vein you will see as you have seen your brachiocephalic artery okay now you can see superior uh, left superior internal uh, intercostal uh, costal vein okay left superior intercostal vein the vein which is supplying your costal areas okay from left side you will only left part uh, left branch you will see here and you can see upper half of superior vena cava not full only the upper half so superior vena cava actually some part will be in your middle mediastinum and some part that is the superior part will come into the superior mediastinum okay so this much is clear now comes your nerves in nerves you will having phrenic nerve first then your vagus nerve same sympathetic trunk trunk okay and left recurrent laryngeal nerves okay now comes your lymph node section in lymph node you will see the thoracic duct here and thymus okay so thoracic duct will be coming from the superior till the posterior side so it can be seen in the actually in the uh, superior part also and the posterior mediastinum also okay now tubes tubes means tubular organs means tubular organs you can see trachea here and esophagus so it will be just clear when you will see the diagram all the structures will be related there you can see each and every structure which i have mentioned here and some muscles also like sternohyoid sternothyroid and longus coli so this you have to learn actually and i will give you some visual uh, visual appearance on the diagram so let's move on to diagram to discuss specifically superior mediastinum okay so uh, now we are we have to see the superior mediastinum in this diagram every content will be relating in this diagram so you can see this say this line this dotted line is actually pericardium so above that area is actually your this much area is your superior mediastinum so these are the organs arteries and uh, blood vessels uh, that is arteries and veins and nerves we can see so we have written all those portions so now we'll be seeing here okay so first of all you can see uh, first of all we're discussing arteries so you can see this is arc of aorta so arc of aorta 
will be in the superior medial sternum and it has four the branches in the right side it has right brachiocephalic artery and the left side it has uh, left uh, common carotid artery this one and left subclavian artery okay so these three four four structures and that is arteries are in the superior medial sternum okay so this one is clear now comes your vein now veins so in the section of veins we have first of all right and left uh, brachiocephalic vein this one this is uh, right this is left okay and this one is actually your left superior part of your superior vena cava okay this much so this area okay we have written the upper part of your upper half of superior vena cava is present here okay and we have uh, we have not uh, uh, yes upper half of superior vena cava and left superior intercostal vein you can see it here left superior intercostal vein this small one which is coming from your uh, left that is your left brachiocephalic vein so this is actually your this small one is actually this one is your left superior intercostal vein okay we have written that so these are these are the veins which will be present here now comes the nerves you can see the yellow portion here some yellow portion first of all vagus nerve you can see it here which will be coming from the cervical region in the abdomen will going to abdomen region so that will be contained on superior medial sternum and left recurrent laryngeal nerve is dotted one which will be the branch of your left vagus nerve which will be going a recurrent means it will be going again upwards so that is why it has a name left recurrent laryngeal nerve towards the larynx okay lower portion of larynx so left recurrent laryngeal we will be content and left vagus nerve okay phrenic nerve will be also there it is not shown here in this diagram but consider phrenic uh, phrenic nerve will be also present here okay because it also comes from your cervical plexus so cervical plexus in the neck region so that nerve is also the part of this and you can see a uh, sympathetic trunk will be also present it not shown here it will be given because it is present a uh, posterior that is just uh, attached to the vertebral column okay and other things are there okay and in lymphatic duct there will be your thoracic duct and thymus okay it is not shown here but just consider thymus and thoracic duct in the case of infant and organs you can see esophagus and trachea and some muscles we have told you sternothyroid sternothyroid and longus coli okay so this was actually your superior mediastinum okay now comes your anterior mediastinum you have seen this part was your anterior mediastinum this blue one so in this we will be seeing the diagram they are not not so much organ in this area so especially you can see some fat tissues arular tissues like mammary gland you can see there and sternopericardial ligament you can see between your pericardium and sternum there is a ligament you can also see here and thymus thymus we have seen in the superior mediastinum but some part in children its lower part comes in the anterior mediastinum from here like this you can see like this thymus comes here some part so we consider in children only the lower part and mammary arteries that is called as internal thoracic artery okay you can see here and lymph nodes so i have said lymph node is common in everywhere so you have to just remember ln that is for lymph nodes okay now comes your middle mediastinum okay middle mediastinum this part the area where your pericardium is covering or heart is present so this orange part is your middle mediastinum and this will be seeing some organs and some arteries so first of all heart will be their most prominent organ and pericardium the covering it's covering in arteries we have be having first of all uh, arc of aorta a a will be there okay not a uh, there will be your uh, sorry ascending aorta this a is not for arc of aorta this is ascending aorta so arc of aorta i have told you it will be present in the superior mediastinum i have said the concept i have tell you the concept in the diagram here ascending will be in the middle arc will be in the superior and descending will be in the uh, posterior mediastinum okay so this much is clear so ascending aorta pt is for your pulmonary trunk and pericardiophrenic artery so this was section of arteries now comes the veins in veins you will see lower half okay lower half because uh, the superior part will be in the superior mediastinum and lower half will be in the uh, you can say in the uh, middle mediastinum okay now comes your vein a zygous vein that is terminal part okay so terminal part we will see here and your uh, that is its uh, just, just, just where your terminal parts begins that part from where the blood is coming that will be in the posterior mediastinum okay so only small part so that will be i will also showing in a diagram just after discussing this so this is a terminal part and you can see pulmonary veins right and left both here lymph node you will see have said common and bifurcation of trachea it will be there here you can see this in the middle mediastinum so for so because of that there will be right and left uh, primary bronchi because bifurcation into trachea is into right, right and left uh, primary bronchi now comes your nerves and nerves you will be having phrenic nerve okay 
so which will be supplying your actually uh, the phrenic phrenic means diaphragm and will be passing through your pericardium okay and deep cardio plexus so now let's move on to the diagram for discussing or seeing the middle medial sinum okay so now we have to see the uh, section of our medial sinum on this picture okay we have discussed the theoretical part theoretical part okay now you can see this dotted one is actually your pericardium or uh, which will be the part that is the contents of mid, uh, middle mediastinum and above that you, you we have discussed th this area is your superior mediastinum we have discussed that okay so in this we have first of all there will be major organ that will be heart will be present you can see it here pericardium will be there that is outer covering so these two parts now comes your arteries what arteries or blood vessels you can see here first of all you can see the ascending aorta as we have discussed this is a line above that will be your arc of aorta so that is in your superior mediastinum but the ascending aorta will be in your uh, middle mediastinum okay and descending will be on posterior side that is it will going like this okay so that we will discuss in the posterior uh, in another diagram okay now comes your pulmonary trunk you can see this one so this blue one is your pulmonary trunk you can see it here pulmonary trunk okay so that will be also the content of this part now comes your pericardiophrenic artery uh, that will also coming from here okay not shown here so it will be supplying actually the pericardium region of your heart okay and then going to the diaphragm region okay so that will also present here in the section of arteries now it comes your veins in the veins you can see superior vena cava is your lower half in upper half will be in the superior mediastinum lower half will be in the this much area will be in the middle mediastinum okay now comes your azygous vein so azygous vein you know that drain and drains into drains the blood from the lower extremities into the superior vena cava so you can also see this at the terminal part okay so the starter part will be coming from here so that will be the part of actually uh, will be in the posterior side okay so that will be in the posterior mediastinum but its terminal part when it comes inside the heart or drains the blood in the chamber of heart that is in the superior vena cava then that area that is terminal part is, is in the section of our middle mediastinum so that is why we mentioned that terminal part of his i guess mean now comes your pulmonary vein so pulmonary vein you can see right and left both will be present here it is shown small ones this one so this will be in the section of our uh, mediastinum middle mediastinum okay so we have written those parts now comes your lymph nodes so in lymph nodes simply lymph nodes uh, will be there and bifurcation of trachea you can also see here here will be present here only just here uh, just in front of your uh, trunk okay pulmonary trunk so that is not shown here okay so bifurcation of trachea right and left bronchus will be here and in nerves will there will be phrenic nerves okay phrenic nerve will be coming here okay so phrenic nerve will be there okay so uh, uh, this was a phrenic nerve and some deep cardiac plexus so this was actually your uh, middle mediastinum okay now comes your posterior mediastinum so posterior mediastinum is simple so you can see in this diagram this green part will be saying what organs are present in this okay so this is actually your posterior mediastinum according to second classification okay so first of all major organ will be there is your esophagus and in case of lymphatic drainage you will see thoracic duct thoracic lymphatic duct or thoracic duct in arteries you can see descending aorta as i have told you arc of aorta superior mediastinum ascending aorta middle mediastinum and this uh, descending aorta you, you can say that also or thoracic aorta because it is going in the thoracic region and further in the abdominal region so name changes when it is inside thorax that is called as thoracic aorta when it reaches abdomen that is called as abdominal aorta okay so for common it has a name called as descending aorta so it will be present in the posterior mediastinum and its branches will be there now veins will be there so in the case section of veins will be having azygous vein hemiazygous will be there and accessory hemiazygous will be there okay so just remember azygous hemiazygous accessory hemiazygous vein three veins will be there now in the section of nerves there will be vagus nerve and sympathetic trunk and splanchic nerves no? okay so these three uh, nervous system will be there and at last lymph nodes will be there uh, in that region okay like peritracheal lymph nodes will be present specifically if you go but that is no need okay you just have to remember lymphatic nodes now let's uh, see this in the uh, diagram okay thank you okay so now in this diagram we have to discuss the posterior mediastinum okay so this uh, this type of diagram we have discussed in the divisions okay you know that uh, here will be a sternal line okay and above that will be a superior mediastinum and this is a pericardium that is outer covering or heart is there and this anterior to that will be your anterior mediastinum this much area and just the covering of heart that is the heart where heart is present is your middle mediastinum and just posterior to that this much area will be your posterior mediastinum okay so now we have to see the posterior mediastinum contents okay 
so first of all uh, posterior mediastinum you can see the esophagus okay and in this diagram you can see your uh, thoracic duct here okay in this diagram you can see this thoracic duct is there okay and now uh, come back to same diagram okay now in arteries you can see descending aorta simply okay so this is a line sternal line above that is your arca aorta in the superior mediastinum now this aorta descends downward and this is called as descending aorta so this comes in the posterior mediastinum okay this much is clear now uh, there will be azygous veins okay azygous vein will be also there here azygous vein so i think i have to see another diagram okay in this uh, yeah in this you can see here here in this you can see azygous vein okay azygous vein this much is azygous vein you can see and there will be hemiazygous vein which will be draining into azygous vein further and accessory hemiazygous vein which will be draining from first and second third intercostal spaces okay so it is not shown i think here okay so just consider uh the terminal part of azygous vein will be in the actually in the middle mediastinum i have told you and the the part which is draining the blood from lower extremities in the posterior mediastinum okay and now in this diagram you can see okay so this is actually your right and left side okay lateral view okay so in this you can see this vagus now okay and these are your sympathetic ganglions or sympathetic uh, trunk or these are ganglions and these round ones are actually ganglions so this is called as chain of ganglions this is present in the whole vertebra okay so now you can see the splanchic nerves splanchic nerves you can see it here okay so these are specific nerves which will be present in the specific levels okay so they are also the section of posterior mediastinum okay okay so these three nerves the vagus nerve sympathetic trunk and your splanchic nerves these three nerves will be present in the posterior mediastinum specifically and i have told you is zygous vein and terminal part will be in the zygous vein will be in the uh, in the middle mediastinum okay so this was actually the uh, contents of mediastinum okay thank you do like share and subscribe to the channel